Hey guys, this is Carlos. As you can see, I got the uh, Fly Zone Sensei, however you want to call it or pronounce it, um, tethered very securely over here with a heavy briefcase full of records and uh, other stuff in there. Uh, I'm using the camera case, uh, the same camera case for this camera that uh, you're uh, looking through, and uh, it's uh, it's a good setup. Uh, that way, it gives uh, all both hands uh, available to the controls and to hold the uh, watt meter. So let's uh, go ahead and see uh, what happens here. Okay, everything's connected, active. As you can see, uh, battery's reading uh, a little over 12 volts, 12.3 uh, volts. Uh, and right now, I got this thing tethered uh, so I won't get knocked off. I'm using the uh, <laughs> uh, Bombay door. Um, servo arm with a rubber band uh, just to keep it secure on top of the windshield. Uh, everything else is just uh, completely stock and um, I have, uh, uh, instead of uh, replacing the stock prop, which I don't have, uh, I have to order it, I just placed a um, Park Zone um, 9.75 by 7.5 standard propeller that comes most with their Park Zone uh, Warbirds including the T28 Trojan Trainer on this model and we're going to see uh, the uh, amp draw with it uh, here's the uh, <coughs> the throttle and as you can see it's all active we're going to go uh, to quarter throttle now and see what happens here goes Well, it's a little past uh, quarter throttle, uh, and it's just reading uh, barely uh, a little over 2 amps, 26 watts. So let's go ahead and give it a little kick up to half throttle. Uh, that says uh, 4.7 amps, 55 watts, and at a uh, voltage load of 11.8 and let's go three quarter throttle that says uh, almost 11 amps 122 watts and a uh, voltage drop of 11.2 full wide open here goes 21 22 amps 226 watts and 10 volts a little over 10 volts what? Uh, not bad. There you have it, guys. It's going to be a screamer.